you know, Polisky the Creeper, Portland, Oregon. Wow. Bummer. Now that I'm thinking about it, I've never used that spare, and I don't think the lug nuts are compatible with the type of rim. Bummer. The holes on it are different. Bummer. Creepers. Good morning, you guys. As you guys seen there, I'm making me some fresh coffee. Gotta have some coffee first thing in the morning. But I do appreciate you guys joining me once again for another creep today. But today's gonna be fun. We, I caught wind um, that there is, not too far from here actually, um, is a an entire abandoned property with the cars and, and everything in the middle of basically nowhere. Um, it's in the middle of the woods somewhere and today we're gonna go find it. I'm gonna sip on some coffee. Oh, that's good. And get caught up on some of my favorite channels here on YouTube. Um, but today's adventure should be fun, so stay tuned. So we are starting here at the Springwater Trail, which this time of morning is absolutely gorgeous. And all along this old train line here is an array of different animals and whatnot. Um, it's basically a full luscious forest wetland that you walk through. And what we're going to see isn't too far from here, but I wanted to show you guys this little plaque here. It shows all the different wildlife. The great blue heron. Maybe even some steelhead trout. Definitely seen a ton of these black-tailed deer. And heck it, you may even be able to catch a beaver. That's right. Sometimes there's beavers, even muskrats. From Portland to Borland, people use the scenic Springwater Trail to exercise and enjoy nature. Very cool. But what we're going to see is just right up here. So stay tuned. Morning. Morning. So when I told you guys this was an old train station, uh, or actually train tracks that we are walking down, brings us to the Lindman Station here, which I've actually featured on a previous vlog. We did a whole vlog from here. Um, but this is one of the old school places that you would buy your ticket for the train, maybe get a bite to eat. And if you look closely here, there's actually the old train tracks from the original train that would run through here and you would basically buy your ticket right here but like I said this is on a previous vlog that we've done before so you might want to go back and check that out after this vlog but this is the Lindman station one of the old train relics if you guys can see behind me here I get the camera angled better there is a bunch of people behind me so it is about 9.30 in the morning and it's already about maybe 70 degrees out. So it is a beautiful day. And then if I flip the camera around, there's a whole bunch of people up here coming too with their dogs and a lot of people on bikes and stuff. So we're gonna creep up here a ways because what I wanna show you guys is kinda hidden. So we're gonna be up here a ways and then we'll get to where we're going. We are here, you guys. And if you can see on the sign here, City of Gresham Primitive Trail. Beyond this point, falls could falls on this trail could result in serious injury or death. Make sure to stay on the trail. Watch for falling rock and trees. Because if you guys can see, we are surrounded in a basically a desolate forest. 
So let's creep in here and see what we can find. I heard it's pretty cool. to see this you guys somebody told me this is uh been in Gresham for a long time I'm that's where I'm at I'm in East County Gresham if I didn't already say so but uh apparently this has been here for a long time I've never known about it and so you know me if you know this channel I love being out in the woods and then also I love abandoned places so to mix the two together is <laughs> pretty awesome so we're gonna check this out we're getting close here Somebody actually fixed it up. <laughs> Looks like it's been sitting here for a long time. And then if you look right back here, there's this old creepy house. Way back here in the woods. Crazy. I wonder if anybody stays in there. <laughs> He's sure as heck scary. Look at all that. Ferns and moss on the roof. Let's go around the other side and see if we can get a better shot. Just literally in the middle of nowhere. Crazy. Let's go around the other side. I would normally say let's go inside and check it out, but it looks pretty sketch. So we're gonna just try and get a better better shot from a different angle. this creepy fence here some sort of Blair Witch project crazy yeah the only other way in is through here and it's way 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 back there and honestly I don't know what's in these bushes or what's even lurking back in here so I think I'm gonna pass. But I definitely wanted to show you guys that just random house and car in the middle of nowhere, which is basically way back in here because I trekked all the way through here trying to find a good way in. But like I said, with this being here, um, and it looks like there's also some barbed wire there and stuff, so I definitely don't wanna get a tetanus. <laughs> Look at this stuff. That is some rusty barbed wire. So let's go back around the other side and see if we can get a little bit better of a shot. Stay tuned. I gotta try and find my way out of here. <laughs> well, you guys, this is about as close as we're gonna get. Like I said, there's random barbed wire. And I just don't feel good going back there. But if you look way, way, way in the back, right about, right about here, finger is there's another little house maybe a shed back there too that's just totally covered in uh, blackberry bushes but yeah just a crazy 
abandoned house just way out in the nowhere in this car too. Pretty cool. Gosh, those trees are enormous. So I'm wondering if this maybe was going to be part of the residential area or if it was just something that never got finished. Pretty crazy. Well, that's as close as I'm going to get. Um, like I said, the whole place is surrounded by really desolate, stinging nettle, and I got shorts on, and I'm not trying to get hit with barbed wire, rusty barbed wire. So I'm going to leave it at that, but I wanted to just show you guys how random that was. Um, anybody knows what kind of car that was, chime in. Uh, but that's going to do it for today, and I appreciate you guys very much, as always, for creeping with me. So if you guys haven't yet, you can hit that thumbs up. You can ring that bell. That way when I creep, you guys will be the first to creep. But until then, creeper out for now. Peace, you guys. Oh, these guys are coming through quick. Thank you. Coming in hot. Oh, <laughs> Beautiful day for a ride, though. It's almost good that you guys stopped for the video, huh? Who are these two? This is, well, this is Jazzy and Mala. And Jazzy and Mala. Oh, you guys are super cute. You guys are just out enjoying the day, huh? Yes, yeah, are. they're four right months on. old. They're really pretty. Yeah, we're trying to leash train them. They're <laughs> oh, mine's a main, mine's a cutie, but she's a pain in the butt. I was like, I did not sign up for this part. Man, she pulls my hand. In. Oh, I bet. You know, I invested in a shock, or it's not a shock collar. It's more of like a tinge unit for a dog. Shock sounds a little much. Right. Uh, but it's like a, it gives a little beep, and then it gives her a warning. And she's got it in pretty dialed with the warning beep to where it was probably one of the best investments I made. It, she's a pit, and I've owned pits my whole life, uh -huh. okay. but she's a handful. So, But these guys look incredibly beautiful. Hi, guys. I'll still keep our distance, too, obviously, because of everything. But, <laughs> right. <laughs> but you guys are awesome. If you guys ever get bored, check out my vlog. It's called The Creeper on YouTube. All so right. just okay, type in The cool. Creeper with a K, and you'll probably see my ugly mug on there. <laughs> but thanks for sharing, you guys. It's awesome. Yep. Thank you. Enjoy your day. Take it easy. You too, you too bud.